How's it going guys? I hope you all are doing just fine. This is a long overdue video talking about switching to only using the Magic Trackpad for about 4 months straight. In this video, I want to talk about the trackpad experience, the thing I like and dislike, and finally talking about feeling the need to get an actual mouse for getting things done even more efficiently. So for the past couple of months, I've been extensively using the Magic Trackpad for about everything that I do here in my studio. From casual browsing, video editing, photo retouching, playing games. No, I'm just kidding. Who plays games with a trackpad? No, I mean seriously, to really test out a limitation of a product, I forced myself to solely use the Magic Trackpad for my everyday use, and I finally came to a realization that I might be missing out on using an actual mouse for higher point and click accuracy, that is most of the time very very beneficial if you don't well spend a couple of seconds misclicking. And if you end up misclicking for at least 50 times a day, all the time spent misclicking is such a waste of time. But before diving into the reasons why I felt the need to switch to using a regular mouse once again, let me share some of the good things that I like about the Magic Trackpad. Needless to say, the trackpad experience is literally irreplaceable by any other peripheral devices. The best features of the Magic Trackpad includes the full gesture control experience from using your whole hand to navigate through Mac OS instead of just using your thumb, index finger, middle finger and majority of the time your wrist, which is how you would normally use on a normal mouse. With gesture controls, you get to do natural swiping motions, pinch to zoom, force touch and many many more gestures, all of which simply enhances your navigation experience here on Mac OS. To fully utilize the gesture controls, I'm currently using better touch tools to further enhance the gesture control experience as I'm able to customize every single gesture to do any task I assign to it. I've made a whole video talking about the controls that I've customized for my everyday use. I'll leave a link in the description box below in case you have not checked out that video. Overall, my experience so far has been really really pleasant. I enjoy the trackpad a lot, especially during video editing with the full control of the trackpad to get a scroll through horizontal timeline as well as the vertical timeline. In the previous video, I talked about the ergonomics of the trackpad. After getting used to it, it feels almost the same as a regular mouse. Once your hand gets used to the angle placement, you should be fine. Well, two or three finger drag on a trackpad took a little time to get used to, but once learned, it is pretty helpful. However, the struggle of a precise cursor pointer is real, times where you need to click accurately on a specific point. With the trackpad, it is still a bit lagging behind. By all means, the trackpad isn't meant to replace the functions of a mouse, since it is a completely different peripheral. A mouse with lots of buttons and gestures can be as functional and productive as compared to the Magic Trackpad, but I don't think the trackpad experience is irreplaceable. That being said, over the course of 4 months without using the mouse on the Mac OS specifically, because I still use a regular mouse on my work laptop, I constantly wish that I could click more accurately when navigating on a Mac Mini using the trackpad. I just felt that something was missing. I've been a mouse person all my life back when I was using a Windows machine and in just 4 months of use, I am calling it quits that I want to return back to using an actual mouse. So in my recent video, I've started using the MX Master 3 paired with the M1 Mac Mini alongside with the Magic Trackpad of course. I've learned about this hybrid setup where you can use the trackpad with your left hand for gesture controls. Since I'm fully right-handed, so I think it's gonna take me some time to get used to the left-handed gesture controls. I have to say, scrolling through or going back and forth web pages with gesture controls with the Magic Trackpad is still one of my favourite things to do when compared to the MX Master 3. Hopefully, I will discover a little bit more with this hybrid setup using both the Magic Trackpad and the MX Master 3 for my everyday use. I'll be sure to document this journey and share with you guys a full review and experience using this hybrid setup. And that is all for this video, just to wrap up my overall user experience with the Magic Trackpad. Now, don't get me wrong, you can certainly pull through the day with just using the Magic Trackpad as your daily driver. I'm aware of other people solely using the Magic Trackpad only, but my inner desire still prefers to use an actual mouse. So let me know in the comments down below, are you an all trackpad person or team mouse? Or perhaps you belong in the team, why not both? That's all from me in this video. If you have any questions at all, feel free to leave me a comment down below. I'll be sure to get back to you guys as soon as possible. It has been my pleasure. Thank you all so so much for tuning in. My name is Ken and I will catch you all in the next video. Stay safe, peace out, and bye-bye.